Growing up, I never thought I would become a physician. My dad is a physician, and uh, he's definitely been an inspiration to me my whole life. But growing up, I always was more interested in other things, and that bounced around various topics. But I was in school studying for business, finance, economics, and I just felt like there was something missing. And about halfway through school, I realized that I really wanted to do something that was going to be more helping people directly, something with tangible um, benefits that I can give to people. And so I became more interested in medicine. Uh, my dad actually tried to talk me out of it at first. He said, don't go into medicine unless you have to go into medicine, unless you're driven to go into medicine. And that's really what, when I realized that I just didn't have any interest in anything else, that's really what I wanted to do. So in that way, he was very inspirational to me. So what got me interested in orthopedics uh, is a bit of a story. As I was going through medical school, I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to specialize in. I was kind of bouncing around all over the map. Every rotation I went on, I could see myself doing that. And it wasn't until halfway through my third year of medical school when I blew out my knee and needed ACL reconstruction surgery when I finally started thinking maybe orthopedics would be a good idea. And I, was, I didn't even know anything about the whole world of sports medicine, but it kind of opened my eyes and being at Duke University where there's a lot of good sports and a lot of good sports medicine, it was really interesting as I was going through the rehab and realizing that I had a, a great interest in, in surgery, I had an interest in sports, and this seemed to be like the perfect combination for me. I treat uh, general orthopedics, um, so bones and joints, uh, knees, shoulders, hips, ankles, um, my subspecialty is sports medicine, so I have a focus and a special interest in sports medicine surgery. I do a lot of arthroscopies. I do some total joint replacements of the knee and the hip, and I do a lot of fracture work and trauma. Part of being a sports medicine doctor is to take care of athletes on the field as well as in the clinic and in the OR. Uh, so we do a lot of team coverage of uh, athletes of all uh, levels from um, grade school all the way to professional level. So I've been a uh, team physician for the Atlanta Gladiators hockey team for over 20 years. Uh, I've worked with multiple high schools in the area, um, in, including Mill Creek um, for many years, doing sideline football coverage. Also have worked with the uh, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. We've done football coverage, tennis coverage, you name it. One of the most rewarding things about taking care of patients and one of the things that I enjoy doing for patients is to help them improve their quality of life. And being a sports medicine surgeon, a lot of it is getting the player back in the game, but we also take care of a lot of people, most of our patients who aren't athletes. And getting back in the game may be getting back in the game of life or getting back to work or getting back to just being able to do normal daily activities. So one of the most rewarding things for me as a physician is to help a patient get back to function, get their pain level down, uh, try to help make them better, get their quality of life to improve. It's a great feeling when a patient says to me, I'm coming to you because my friend or family member recommended and said, you know, you have to go see Dr. Morgan, he fixed my knee or my shoulder. And so when a patient trusts me enough to send their friend or family member to me, that really means a lot to me. When I'm not working, my hobbies include uh, traveling. I like to travel with my wife a lot. I like flying airplanes and I enjoy rescuing dogs and playing with our dogs. I grew up flying with my dad um, even when I was eight, 10 years old. So I knew how to fly an airplane pretty much before I could drive a car. But I didn't get my license until later in life when I had a little bit more time and, and ability to, to do it. But it's a passion of mine and always has been. So I, I like to combine my love of flying with my love of traveling. It's a good combination. One of the things I think that sets Piedmont Orthopedics, Ortho Atlanta, apart from other practices is not only the quality of the providers and the breadth of services, but also the culture of our practice. I've been with this practice for 22 years now. I started when we only had six physicians and we've grown quite a bit since then. We try to have all of the advantages of, of a large group, but we also want to try to keep that small group feeling. And part of the way we do that is we have smaller clinics scattered around a wider area. And so I've been working out of the Lawrenceville and Johns Creek areas for several years and each of these offices are 
fairly small, but still have a kind of a small practice feel in the um, midst of a larger practice. I'm Dr. Brian Morgan with Piedmont Orthopedics, Ortho Atlanta, and we're here to get you back in the game.